All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking the Yamaha R6 and we're going to be showing you how to ride a motorcycle for the very first time. So we have the proper key tag here. Notice four wheels moves the body, two wheels moves the soul. And so this is a very fast motorcycle. We have the custom pipe on it and you know custom exhaust uh we have the custom grips well let's get on and i'll show you some stuff here's what we're going to be covering in the video everything you need to know on how to ride a motorcycle so let's start off with uh it is very hot let's start off with the gauges let's adjust the camera here so this is the emergency kill switch hopefully we won't be needing that this is the front brake. This is the throttle. This is the starter. And over here on the left side, we have the brights, the turn signals, the horn. This is just a handlebar. This is the clutch lever. So I'm going to pull this in here, show you some stuff here. Pull the clutch lever in. I kick up here, and that will shift the motorcycle. So over here on the right side if you're sitting on the motorcycle this is braking rear brake front brake so traditionally everything on these japanese motorcycles on the left side has to do with shifting you see you have the clutch lever uh, uh, the clutch lever handle and then the gear shift lever here you're going to put your foot underneath the kick to shift up and put your foot on top to shift down so let's get started now here is what we're going to talk about and first i'm going to have to adjust this camera like this because when i lean forward because it's a very lean forward raked forward sport bike when i lean forward i want you to be able to see everything now let's start off with the gear you have the gloves on we have a mesh jacket, we have pants on, motorcycle shoes that are designed for shifting, etc. And uh, here goes. Now, we're going to cover everything. We're going to start off with the basics, then we're going to get on to some higher speed. So the first thing you want to do when you're new is put the clutch lever in, put it in gear, slowly let the clutch lever out and find that you know uh friction zone it's called the friction zone and i'm just walking it up to the stop sign here we're gonna go left here so what you're gonna do i would do this like in a mall or something but you slowly like a parking lot give it some throttle on the right while slowly letting the clutch handle out on the left i suggest Keep your legs out when you're new. Keep them away from the motorcycle. So now, this is like the beginning stages of learning. You find a little place like this. Uh-oh, what's that dog doing? You find a little place like this, preferably with no dogs, and you learn your shifting and stopping. Hopefully we get some stopping. So when we're going to brake, I want to tell you something very important when you're braking keep your handlebars straight keep them straight don't move them like that because if you break these bikes are very heavy the weight of the motorcycle is going to lean and you could crash so we're also going to be covering counter steering as we're going to be hitting some very high speeds here so this is like beginner, then you're going to see the road gets to intermediate where there's some little curves and then it gets to like advanced where there's some extreme high speed corners. So another thing, if you look in the, my cell phone, it says 45 miles per hour, 47 miles per hour. I strongly suggest you download an app and put it on your phone to show your speed because most motorcycles are a little off on the speed so the speedometer says 53 but on the phone this is going 
going by GPS, it says like 51. You might see a lot more motorcycle riders as we're heading down here. Uh, so let's talk about, and I'm going to show you everything as we go through this, but let's talk about when you're going to get a motorcycle, you can go to a course to help you pass the test called MSF, like Mary Sam Frank. It's like the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course. And trust me, it's gonna get a lot more exciting than this road here, but this is the beginners. So notice, nothing you really have to do, but we're gonna get into shifting, like when it's a beginner type of road, you just kind of relax and go along. But um, we're gonna show you shifting, etc. but back to motorcycle, safety foundation you can go there and in a little parking lot they will show you how to ride motorcycles now watch this we got a corner coming up so it says 35 miles per hour now i'm just going to lean it i really don't have to use like counter steering i'm just really like leaning into it but see the problem is as you start to go faster and faster you can't just lean into it you're going to need to use counter steering and I'm going to show you what counter steering is. But notice here, I could really just kind of lean into it and the Yamaha R6 is good for that. Now let's show you counter steering. Coming up to a corner, I'm going to pull the clutch in, kick up on the left by the foot and then let the clutch lever out. Let's talk about counter steering because you notice we're getting kind of into like intermediate now. Counter steering it's a very unfortunate name. They should call it counter pressure. So we're going to hit a, like right here, let's pick up this pace a bit. So see this sign on the right? It says 45 mile per hour and we're going about 56. So if you're hitting these things at a faster clip, I'm going to pull back on the right like now and kind of lean into it while I'm pushing forward just slightly, very slightly pressure on the left. Same thing on this right corner. I'm gonna pull back on the left and maybe slightly push forward on the right. So let me show you. This is counter steering it. I'm not like leaning it as much as I'm using, see how I'm doing that with the handlebars like that? Now, I pull back on the left and it leans it to the right. I'm gonna pull back on the right, it's gonna lean it to the left and you need to practice this. Uh, you could crash if you don't know. So on three, one, two, three, pulling back on the right. See how it leans it like that. So a great way to learn this is just go on a straight road. You pull back on the left, it goes to the right. Pull back on the right, it goes to the left. I could have done that more, but there's oncoming traffic. So you get the idea. There, I'm gonna mention two YouTube channels you should go to during this lesson. If you wanna see how not to do it, <laughs> If you want to see a lot of crashes, and you'll learn a lot of ways how to do it, go to Moto Madness. M-O-T-O, -O, and then the word madness. Some of my videos were on there where I avoided close calls, so you'll see some on how to do it. Uh, now watch this. We're going to pull back on the left to go to the right on three. Three, two, one. Oh, I should say I'm one. See how it leans it? And you're really manipulating the handlebars as you're pulling back on the, uh, the handlebars. So find a straight you know, road, pull back on the left to go to your right, pull back on the right to go to the left, and you're kind of like going like this, pressured, you see. Now, we're gonna get into shifting. If I wanna shift lower, no one's behind me, I'm going to release the throttle, you always release the throttle, pull the clutch lever and kick down, release the clutch lever, then roll back onto throttle. So there's the peg there where I'm shifting up with the gear shift lever and then I'm shifting down and if I'm shifting up my foot's underneath the gear shift lever, if I'm shifting down my foot's above it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pull back on the right, we approach here, and then I'll show you another great way uh, to take corners that I like um, to do. By the way, uh, if you go to Moto Madness, you'll see most people crash around the corner going to the left. I don't know why that is. I just 
under observation I've noticed that most crash going to the left. So we're going to do something here. I want to go all the way up to sixth gear to show you. Okay, so we're in sixth gear. I, when I shift downwards, it goes five, four, three, two. So watch, I'm, no one's behind me, so I'm going to show you this. So watch, release the throttle, clutch lever in, release the clutch, I'm in fifth, because I kick down. Pull the clutch lever in, kick down again on the left here, release the clutch lever, and I'm down to fourth. Clutch lever in, kick down again, release the clutch lever, I'm down to third. Now let's get on it here. Clutch lever in, kick up. Release throttle, clutch lever in, kick up. Remember, I'm always releasing throttle, moving the clutch lever, holding it in, and then I'm shifting into gear, then I release the clutch lever. That's how you do it. So the one channel I told you, you'll see people crashing a lot as they're going around Here's a little hazard right here. As they're going around to the left, I don't know what it is about going to the left, like this left corner here. So I wanna show you something uh, that I like to do. I like to stay, when I got a left corner, I'll kinda stay to the right, and then I'll pull in and straighten the line. So we have one here. So notice the phone says 53 miles per hour. We're going like, it says 40 to take the corner. That was kind of, I could just lean it. Now watch here, I'm gonna pull back on the left, from the left side, and then pull into the corner. Now, see these little hills like this? I wanna ask you a question. This isn't really a big hill right here, but let me, like this one coming up. See, I can't see over that. So what do you think might be dangerous there? Accident? Uh, a deer or something running on the road, a crashed motorcycle, stopped vehicles. This is a problem because you want to ride, you don't want to be like driving around all paranoid all the time. But I'm just saying it, it's something for you to think about if you want to, hold on. So see this right here? We're going to pull back on the right as we just hold pressure there going around the corner. Just a great road to show you guys this. So, uh, hold on, let's do another one. We're gonna pull back on the left and just lean it into the corner here. The R6 is really a great motorcycle for these corners. So what I'm talking about the hill, it's up to you if you want to risk it and just keep going. I do, sometimes I'll try to like sit up as straight as possible to see if I can peek over that that darn hill. Because um, it is a problem. All right, let's get on it here. We're gonna shift up. Now, uh, the speed says, around 67 we got a corner coming up here and the, notice you see anything on the road see anything see a, a bunch of dirt back there these trucks see you got to be careful of that this is not the track where you could just lean the motorcycle over to, you know like this you know and it, there's coolant and all types of stuff on here now another great YouTube channel if you want to see how to ride properly. I would say it's the best channel out there. I don't even know the guy, but it's the channel is Dan Dan the Fireman. D-A-N D-A-N the Fireman. And he does videos because you know he cares about people. Hold on a second. So we got a corner come up here. Notice I don't know why that's not really like a corner. I don't know why it tricked us. He does videos where he shows you how to ride and he used real life accidents caught on GoPro uh, in order to teach you how to ride. All right, so we got a corner coming up here. What are we gonna do? Pull back on the left, 
see how it just swings it here. These are the ones people usually crash on. I don't know why these corners going to the left. Maybe because the oncoming traffic's over there or something. I, I don't know. It just seems like those are the ones that people tend to crash on. Get a motorcycle uh, based on where you're going to ride it. If you're going to be riding it like on these little curvy roads, these aren't too curvy, but you know, you can get away with like a, you know, a 300, a 400. This is a 600. But see, the modern day 600s have like more horsepower than the older day thousands or 1500s. Oh, this is a nice. You know, it's the weather is just so cool as you shoot through here. Ah, really nice. If you're in a very windy area, you might want a heavier motorcycle. If you're in an area with a lot of curves and everything like up in the mountains, you may want a lighter motorcycle to kind of take those corners. Now see right here, I can't even see what's over this bin right here. Now another thing that's good is see how I have the GPS on? The GPS is not 100% reliable, but I would say it's like 99% reliable. So see that? It's like a straight curve going up here. I mean, it's straight and then up to the curb is what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> and then here comes the curb. So if you have a GPS mounted, it really helps. Have it mounted on your motorcycle and you can see basically for the most part where the road's going to lead. Um, I heard that uh, in the news there was this guy, he was on a, in a vehicle, and he actually went off like a bridge that was not even there anymore. It was like under construction or whatever because he was following the GPS. So be careful about that, you know, the GPS, but it does help. It is about 99% accurate um, from what I've noticed. Now, when you want to brake, there's a method to braking, and we're going to talk about braking, but first, let's take this corner. So see how, what I do is as soon as I see the corner starting to come into play, like right here, not really a corner, I would pull back on the right. Now we got a guy in front of us, so let's uh, kind of talk about this. So when you're going to brake, most of the braking is the front brake. That rear brake, if you need to panic stop, it really doesn't do much. <coughs> but both of the brakes together have some pretty good stopping power. When you're braking, you want to keep both, both wheels straight as much as possible. Like you see how I'm going around a corner right here, it does become problematic if I want to brake. So what some guys do is they'll use trail braking where you just slightly brake with the rear tire, but you don't want to hit it, the rear brake. You don't want to hit it too much because I mean, you can crash. Gear is so important. I've had like really heavy things like hit me, like on the freeway and stuff, very painful pieces of metal. Um, if you're in a state where you do not have to wear a helmet, um, I've seen people ride without a helmet and, you know, everything has risk. I have a lot of respect for people that don't ride with the helmet. I mean, this is America, last time I checked. You know, you have the right to do that. I do like eye protection at least, because if you could see my helmet right now, there's these little gnats like all over it. I was on the freeway the other day. Dang it, I could have passed there. We're gonna get closer here. Oh, wait a minute, let's stop here. I think this is a motorcycle meetup. So we're gonna stop here and turn around. Yeah. We'll 
stop here. Please tell me this isn't like gravel crap. It is. Uh, it's not too bad. Crappy gravel. Um, well, let's go over here because I can take this uh, sidewalk right here. Ah, uh, here we go. See, there's like sand right here. See this sidewalk? Ah, uh, let's park here a second. So, this is a major motorcycle meet up here. Uh, but what I was going to say is if you're uh, going to Dan Dan the Fireman's YouTube channel or you're going to Moto Madness. So a matter of fact, I'm going to put one, a couple of videos below here that were featured on Dan Dan the Fireman's channel and also Moto Madness. And uh, you could check them out. So let's get going again. We'll go this way, away from these rocks. Oh, I thought he was coming in this way. Okay, so now we're going to go back. It's a little more advanced here. So, on these R6s, the power doesn't really kick in to like around 8,000 RPM, so I'll show you what. I don't know if you can see the tack. starts picking up. Now, another thing too is nowadays, boy, lots of bumps there. Nowadays, most bikes are liquid cooled and fuel injected. Try to get yourself a fuel injected bike. It's just great. Because they tend to start up better than like the um, carbureted motorcycles, like especially in colder weather. Now with the carbureted motorcycles, you start them up, there's like this little choke lever and you basically turn the choke on and then as it warms up, then you like shut the choke off. Almost like a lawnmower sort of tractor lawnmower. Another thing about GoPros, um, I'll tell you about that. Not another thing, the first thing about GoPro. So I have the GoPro on my chest. I'll tell you why I choose to have it on my chest. So if you're gonna be doing motorcycle like informative videos, when it's on your chin, you can't really see anything except like, you know, the open, the open air. You know, you don't see like the gauges, you don't see anything like that. Um, I'll tell you about, um, let me see, two, three crashes I almost had. One, I don't want to really call it a crash, it kind of was like set down. Um, but I'll start with that one. So I had a Suzuki Katana. And if you look right below this video, I'm going to put a list, uh, some other videos there of other motorcycles that we've reviewed and that we've ridden. And you can check them out. You can check out the Suzuki Katana. It's a great first bike. It's a 600. And it's very low to the ground. It's almost like a, um, a touring bike, but it doesn't have any sharp edges. It's very 
smooth. I really like the shape of the katana. It's weird, they call it katana, which is like a knife, yet there's no sharp edges on it. <laughs> kind, of, kind of weird. But I was pulling into this gas station and um, I was just pulling in there to get like an energy drink. And as I was pulling in, uh, this was when I was in uh, California and gas prices were very, very high. And one of the stations was like four cents less. So of course, because of four pennies, everybody's going crazy, right? Trying to get the uh, four cent savings. So, um, let's see if this guy is pulling out. Please don't do it. All right. So, I'm pulling into the driveway where the gas station's at. And this lady sees me and she thinks I'm going to the gas pump. I'm going this way, the pump's to the left, but I'm going straight and all the pumps are to the left. She comes into the right, she looks right at me and she like floors it and goes right in front of the motorcycle by Katana that I used to have. And I jam the brakes on almost hitting her and she goes and she gets in the pump and, and I, when I jam the brakes down, I kind of like, like the back lifted up like I fell. I wasn't, it wasn't like a crash, like I crashed into someone, but like I hit this little, the little lip of the, the, the driveway, like, because the wheel went like that when it hit, remember I told you about keeping the wheel straight? Don't ask me how I know. Keep your wheel straight when you're stopping. And um, so that was one. The other one, the other two, I did not lay it down. Um, but I think you can see them on video. I'll put the motorcycle video playlist below this video. Um, the other one, it was nighttime and a high school football game was just getting out. And I was going down the same street where the high school was on to get to the other side of town. And as I was driving this motor, this motorcycle, this uh, vehicle comes like pouring out of the parking lot, flying, going right towards me on the wrong side of the road. And I'm like this, like moving over to the right, like almost going, hitting the curb. It was on the street. Like, not like up in the mountains or winding roads like this. It was on like a city street. And it barely missed me. Now here's a 50 mile per hour corner notice. Just pulling back on the left here. See that? You just hold the pressure. Um, oh, and then the other one, you'll see that at Dan Dan the Fireman's um, channel. I'll put that video below here. I'm on a R6, but not this R6. It was a, a different R6. And, um, I'm driving in California, so in California, lane splitting is allowed. You're actually allowed to cut down the middle of the lane, like even on the freeway. And as I'm lane splitting, uh, this guy just goes right in front of me. Not really his fault. He just probably didn't look. You know, people aren't thinking to look for motorcycles. And I'm going really, really far to the left trying to avoid getting hit by this vehicle. And I just barely made it through these two cars. Now here we have a 35 mile per hour corner, but see how it's up this little hill and then it goes to the left? 
So I could see how someone would be flying up to that corner and not know. Of course, you got these yellow signs right here, you know. Um, so that one, and matter of fact, I'm a Christian. And so I do these videos because I really care about everybody and I want you to have a fun time riding a motorcycle. It's a great way to get closer to God. And I don't mean by dying. <laughs> Although that's another way. Alright. We see a motorcycle in front of us. Let's see if we can catch up. But sometimes I'll get on the motorcycle and it's great. Just God and I You know how you can get closer to God is through nature. I mean, look how beautiful this is. And that motorcycle guy is going, going, gone. Let's see. See, I'm checking the GPS here. After this corner, we do have a straightaway. Let's see if we see him. No. I think that guy should be giving you lessons, not me. He's good. Ah, oh, there he is. There they are. So see this corner like this? I think this is why people crash because you see these oncoming cars. It's the those corners that are kind of going to the left where they crash. Catching up. I think the only uh, reason why though is because they have a car in front of them. Oh, and you know why? With they're the Harley types, the Harleys are not as, uh, they're great motorcycles, don't get me wrong, but they're not as maneuverable around these corners as these uh, sport bikes. However, if I'm going on a long trip, I would much rather have their bike than mine for the long trip. Now, my motorcycle is very tall, actually, this one. And I like that so when I'm taking corners, I don't scrape the pegs, I don't have to worry about that. But see these bikes here? I'll stay back out of respect to them. We're going to downshift to fifth. We were in sixth. Now we got a left corner coming up, so what are we going to do? We're going kind of slow and it's like 50. So you could look at one handed, it's like pretty easy. You can kind of lean it. <clears throat> and that's the thing with these R6s, they're very maneuverable. See, we'll do this one, don't do what I do, but see, we'll do this one one handed. I just kind of lean it. You know, I'm squeezing my legs on the tank. So if you are in a, um, we're going to downshift again, because if you are in a um, area where there's long stretches of driving, you would want like a motorcycle like theirs even. Now, I can't see if they have windscreens, but I'm going to tell you, 
even I talk to Harley riders and the worst thing is when the wind's hitting you. It's just, it's just not fun. So uh, check out the videos below. What we learned, we learned how to counter steer. You wanna go to the left, you pull back on the right. You wanna go to the right, you pull back on the left. <coughs> All right, they're gonna pick up now. They're gonna pick up because the trailer, the guy put the trailer left us. But see, even, um, I'm not really like an expert rider, but it's easy to stay with these Harley guys. I'm not getting too close because we got corners going up. See how they slow down more around the corner? It's a much bigger beast to get around that corner. Now, if you're a motorcycle rider and you've had any close calls, I would like to hear about them. Oh, another thing, one time I was on the freeway and this freeway in California is known as the 60 freeway. It's called the Pomona freeway, but it wasn't in Pomona. And I was on a SB1000. So that's a V-twin sport bike. Got a downshift again. So you see I'm downshifting as, as we go slower, you could downshift. Now we all got the red light. So now I'm gonna downshift. Good, we got a braking, notice. Front brake, rear brake, as I'm downshifting. Just a slight squeeze, like you're squeezing an orange. Now you see that light on my dash right there? I don't know if you see it. That's the neutral light. Now, kick down, I'm in first. Give it some throttle, slowly let the clutch out. Now I'm first. Release throttle, clutch in, kick up, release clutch lever, same thing. So when you want to shift, you release throttle, hold on, a gnat just went in here. Release throttle, clutch in, kick up, or down, but I just kicked up, depending on which way you want to go with it. And that's how you do it, that's how you ride a motorcycle. So check out those videos below, you guys. I think you will really, really, like them. We're going to go this way because I feel the need for speed and those guys well, 30 mile per hour so much for that oh um, if you're going to do GoPro you don't have to mount something on your chin but I, they have this thing on eBay, I saw it it's like this strap that goes on your chin and it's got the GoPro mount on it and so you don't have to glue stuff. Don't glue stuff to your motorcycle and then the mounts fall off and all that. Don't do that. Just get that strap and it goes right on the chin part of your motorcycle. It, like it's designed for the GoPro and strap around it and then you put the GoPro on it or you could have the chest mount like I have. I like the chest mount better because you can see everything. Anyways, I do these videos because I am a Christian and we really do love you guys. We want you to drive and have a great time. God bless you. Have a great week.